This is Carla. Welcome to another tutorial. I'm going to show you guys today how to add some shadows and some decent lighting uh, to your models. So I'm just going to bring in a project um, that I'm working on. Um, it's just basically um, a mini metro uh, car that I'll be working on. I'm going to show you how to uh, add some lighting. Uh, to this uh, just to make it and some shadows just to make it look good because at the moment this is just a model so if I was just to render this yeah I'm just going to get some uh, black so uh, let's just uh, sort out some lighting for this so first of all I'm going to uh, add a uh, plane um, and my plane uh, selected I'm just going to punch it up to about 800 uh, by 800 in uh, just to make it a little bit bigger and just for something for our uh, our car to sort of basically sit on to. So I'm going to get my plane, control C and then control V that, just to duplicate that layer. And I'm just going to um, create myself a little uh, backboard, shall I say, uh, to bounce my light off. Uh, make that a bit bigger, Maybe make it a bit higher. And you'll use this back ball to add your um, plane or your textures uh, to for your backdrop. So um, this is how it basically looks now. Um, now I'm just gonna basically create some lighting for this. So let's just push this back, um, leave it like that. Um, and let's go and create um, an infinity light. Just uh, put that up there. Just uh, zoom out this model for a minute. So about there. And now I'm going to create two more lights. Uh, I'm going to create, uh, sorry, uh, an aerial, aerial light. Bring that aerial light, aerial light, shall I say, over. So about there, let's just rotate it. Um, and then just dip it down. Facing our model. Um, maybe come in a bit tighter. Like so, like that, and let's just um, control C, control V that light, and just bring uh, the other one there. Let's just rotate it about there, and let's just uh, spin it around there. Let's uh, bring the light back, bring it down. Uh, so it's basically facing uh, the vehicle. Right, like so. Uh, so we've got two nice lights uh, facing the vehicle uh, as it stands. Now I'm going to get these two lights and I'm just going to change um, a couple of things. So I'm going to change from area to infinite light, uh, shadow, uh, sh uh, sh uh, shadow map soft. So I'm going to click that shadow map soft um, and this light here. On infinite, I'm gonna have it to ray trace hard. And now let's see where we sort of put this into a nice position. Let's see what results we get uh, with that. So here's the um, render. Um, we've got some beautiful shadows on the floor, on top of the car. Um, and then this is going to add to uh, when we apply our backdrop. So uh, let's let's just do that uh, just for fun. So I'm going to uh, play around with uh, my back plane. Uh, maybe just uh, scale it up a bit. Um, and let's just bring a couple of uh, backdrops. Uh, let's have a look what we got here on my desktop. Um, let's have a look. Let's... Uh, bring uh, uh, this in uh, yes uh, let, let's just drop that on our uh, first plane here and let's just drop it on our bottom plane uh, there and let's just play around with the size uh, of the plane um, maybe the back one as well just make it larger guys um, and let's just sort of uh, try and I line this all up so let's uh, just bring that uh, into about there let's just uh, rotate that around like so 
can bring the whole model up a bit. Um, we're going to add a camera in a minute, but we're going to do that uh, in a second. Maybe just bring that uh, down because we want our car sort of resting uh, uh, on the plane. Okay, so let's just uh, put this in a decent position um, so we can uh, just make sure that our render is uh, casting shadows. So I'm just going to uh, render that out. That, that error comes up because I've got some bump backs. I've got some uh, windows um, and obviously the um, the lenses or the glass on the actual uh, front of the car itself, the, the headlights, shall I say. And let's just render that out now. Right, so as you can see, we've got our shadows here, but obviously our lineup and the way the car's positioned is all wrong. So we're basically going to fix that now. So I'm just going to... Uh, select uh, both my planes um, I'm going to change it from UV, UV map UVW mapping to frontal um, like that and then I'm going to right click and I'm going to go to cinema 4d and click on composite I'm going to control C that and click on this one here and Control V uh, to copy that over. Let's just uh, bring this plane. Oh, I didn't want to do that, so let's just get rid of that. Uh, this one here. Control C. And Control V. It's doing that. Put this over here like that. And now let me just um, uh, get my car. Um, let's close my car up. Let's get the whole car. And I'm just going to uh, rotate uh, my actual car uh, to the position I want. Um, maybe uh, sort of fix that. Let's just undo that bit because I didn't want to do that. Uh, put it here. So, and uh, let me try and uh, render that again. So, this needs to be duplicated. So, let's hold Control and bring that here. Like right, so, so, we've got two of them. Um, right, so, and uh, let's just try and re render that and see uh, how it looks. As you can see, we're actually getting there, but we're not there, if that makes sense, because these planes are all wrong. We need to uh, fix um, the plane um, on this model, so I'm going to um, bring this all the way out. Stick the other plane and maybe just stretch it out a bit, and obviously our car is not in line uh, with the plane itself. Um, so we're going to uh, work on that when I go into this view here. And I'm just going to uh, bring this into a position that is uh, workable because we can see that our car is um, sort of not uh, in line with our plane. Uh, let's just change a view um, and just see from... Uh, another view, maybe this one, uh, what we can do with this. Uh, let's just bring that into view. As you can see, that's our plane there, and we need to uh, work on just bring that flush with, um, or in line, shall I say, uh, with the actual uh, uh, geometry, the actual plane itself. Um, so let, let's go back to our 3D view now. Um, maybe that might be okay. Um, and let's just um, play around with. Uh, we're gonna go to uh, our this plane here. Um, right click Cinema 4D. Um, we're gonna go to Composite in. Um, I'm gonna make sure this composite background is ticked uh, as well. Uh, so it seamlessly uh, fixes the seam um, in the shot. Um, we don't need to select HDR because we're not using a HDR map. So um, 
make sure that uh, this uh, top one is uh, composited as well. Uh, so we've got both of them uh, fixed. Um, and let's just uh, play around with how the scene looks. Uh, let's just uh, try and bring the whole model around like so. Uh, let's just bring this here. Just make sure our car or our object is uh, parallel to the floor by just bringing it. So it's, you see our back tire here is, is okay. We might be able to sort of bring that up slightly um, and maybe rotate the background up a bit backwards. Like so uh, <clears throat> let's uh, spin that around. Let's hold it all part and then we can just spin it around a hell of a lot quicker. And um, we just make sure is in line with our uh, backdrop so let's just put that into a nice uh, part of the scene because we've uh, composited now so we can uh, bring that maybe zoom it in a bit more forward uh, and let's just try and render that and see uh, the results uh, we're going to get now these bits here is because um, the headlights um, are see-through um, so they require their own lighting in general but that's for another tutorial um, let's just uh, render this out and uh, see what results uh, we get with with this render as you can see that render is not looking too bad at all but there's still a bit more tweaking we could do this back wheel here is not resting on the plane properly uh, which is uh, making the lighting avoid the shadow from this back wheel um, so we can fix that um, and it's just all about just playing with how the draw the the model itself is sitting on its on the plane itself um, to get the uh, realistic uh, look that you're looking for so as always guys um, if you have enjoyed this quick tip on lighting and shadows uh, to make your models and uh, look more realistic a like rating uh, would definitely be appreciated and as always we'll definitely catch you in the next video ciao ciao